Hi, I'm Chill from SharingYourPassion.com. My mission is to help you transform your passions into success. In this tutorial, we are going to take this green screen talking head of me and turn it into a dynamic video with different image backgrounds and a moving video background. We will be using DaVinci Resolve 16, the best, completely free, highly advanced video editor. Okay, here we are in DaVinci Resolve 16's uh, edit page or edit tab. First thing we need to do is bring in our assets, our videos and images. Okay, so here we go. I have six items. I just have to drag it into our media pool. There they are. Now that we have our assets, our graphics and videos in our media pool, we can drag our main green screen video down to the track. Okay, our timeline. Okay, so it's in video one, but you know what? It shouldn't be in video one. It should be in video two. We need to bring the green screen up another layer to video two, but there's no video two. So we just right click this area, add track, created the video two, and let's drag this up. Let's play this. Hey guys, it's chill. In this exercise, we don't need the audio. So I'm going to click the M here to mute it. So this is our main green screen video, okay? So the next thing we need to do is turn this green screen background into a transparency. And we can do that by going here in the color tab, color page. This page looks pretty intimidating. There's a lot of stuff going on here, but we don't need all this stuff right now. All we need is to turn the green background into a transparency. So what we need to do is go over here. This is the node window. I'm not going to explain the details about nodes right now. Um, all we need to do is just turn that to a uh, transparency. So just go here, right click and add alpha output. An alpha is like a layer that you can turn into a transparency. And what we need to do is drag this blue dot here over to here, connect it to the output. This is input, this is output. What happens in the middle are all the effects we can add to this clip. So all we're doing here is adding a transparency. So next, Make sure this dropper is highlighted. Left click, it's highlighted. Make sure this dropper with the target there is highlighted. And now click the green screen area. I'm just gonna give it one click here. So what that did is select the green areas that were similar to the point we clicked here. But because there were other darker greens or lighter greens going on, it only selected a narrow area a narrow range of greenness where we clicked. So what we have to do is expand the green range that we want. We can do that by going down here and adjusting the hue, saturation, and luminance. Okay, let's do that by going over here. See, that's a narrow band of green that was selected. We need to expand that by dragging this to the left. See that? Now there's more green being captured so let's bring it to about there so look at that now we have a really clear-cut green area but there's some stuff here that's remaining we can probably catch that through adjusting the saturation and luminance so let's um, drag this saturation to the left okay it caught that see if we go too narrow there's a lot of green that it doesn't capture but if we go wider then it caught that. And uh, we don't even need to adjust the luminance. So, but just to show you, if I drag this around, play with it, it, it will affect things. So in other situations with, with different lighting, different green backgrounds, you might need to adjust all three until you, you capture all the green range you want. So that's pretty clean. So what we've done is capture all the green areas we wanted to get rid of. But what's showing is only the green part. What we want to do is reverse it. We want this area to show and the green to disappear. 
and we can reverse that by clicking this little icon here. There you go. So now I'm showing and all the green stuff is gone and it's perfect. So let's go back over to the edit page. Okay, we're now back in the edit page and let's play this. So all the green areas are gone. The only thing you can notice are a little bit of greenness around the edges of my face and ears. And you could probably fix that going back to the color page, but you know what? That's fine. It's probably not going to be a big deal. Let's bring the playhead back here. So the next step, let's bring our four images down. Let's highlight all four of them. Drag it down to video one. And look at that, now we have a background. Let's play this. That looks pretty good. And now let's bring down our video background. Okay, right over here. Let's mute this, we don't need the audio of the video. Let's play this from this point. And there we have it. We now have a video background as well. I disappeared because the green screen talking head was only up to this point and the video background extended beyond it. So what we can do is just cut that off by bringing the playhead here, highlighting the video background and control B to cut with the blade. Highlight this section and delete. Now we have a matching ending. Okay, let's go back to the beginning and play this with the images and the video background. Okay, with the brick, with the wood, and now the video coming in. There you go, so that's how the green screen effect works in DaVinci. In some cases, you want your talking head right there. This size, big, and in the center. But in other cases, you want it small, off to the corner, either here, here, any corner, but uh, resize down to a smaller talking head. So that's what we're gonna do now. Normally, you resize images or graphics by controlling the zoom. Let's highlight this talking head video here. And now we can control the zoom. I can make it bigger by dragging it to the right, the X to the right. Or I can make it smaller by dragging it to the left. But now it's making the whole frame smaller. The background is not shrinking, but the visible area has shrunk. So we need to take another step to avoid this problem. Let's set the zoom back to one, one, enter. And we have to go back to the color panel, the color tab. Click this round icon here, it's the window icon. See, window. Select the rectangle or square here. And now we have to resize this rectangle around our talking head. There's two ways to resize. One uses a gradient, this is the outer edge, the outer dot. Let me drag this outer dot. And you can see it's a gradient. The opacity is full here and it fades out, but we don't want that. We want the full opacity. So let's bring that back. What we have to do is drag the inner dots around our profile, around our talking head. So let's drag that down. You can drag this over here. Drag that up there. Drag this here. Okay, I think that's good. Let's go back to the Edit tab. And now when I adjust the zoom, drag to the right, drag to the left, and it's no longer cutting off the edges of the screen. So it's only controlling the area we highlighted in the Color tab. So now we can resize this down, change the position. I'll drag the X to the right, and the Y down to the left, which brings it down. A little more over to the right. Okay, so now my talking head is smaller, out of the way, and now we have this whole area to focus on. Let's play this. Okay, so now you can highlight this section here. You can have text or 
other kinds of information going on in the middle, and your talking head is just to the side. Before we end this, I noticed one little problem. In some of the images, not in this image, this image is full size, but when you get over to this next image, there's some black areas showing. That means the resolution or the aspect ratio of this image wasn't filling up the 16 by 9 screen. This is probably a 4 by 3 aspect, so it's not filling out the full 16 by 9 image. It's an easy fix. Let's just increase the timeline zoom here by clicking the plus two times. And let's go over here. And all we have to do is select this image and zoom in. Okay, I'm dragging it to the right till it fills up the space. Okay, the next one, next image, again, it's a smaller aspect ratio that's not covering the full image. That's why the black area is showing. Let's zoom in for that. Highlight the brick. Zoom in. Okay, and highlight the wood over here. Change the timeline back here. And zoom in. Okay, so now I think this is perfect. Let's run this from the beginning. We have the lounge. Now we have the brick. Could have nice stuff going on here, nice imagery or text going on. And we have the video moving background. And there we go. That's how we do green screen effect or chroma effect in DaVinci Resolve 16. I hope you found this useful and if so, please give the video a like. Let me know down in the comment section below if you have other questions that I haven't addressed and I'll certainly get back to you as soon as I can. I'll be doing more videos like this so subscribe and click the notification bell to see those. And remember, it's my mission to give you the tools and inspiration to help you build your online business and transform your passion into success. Thank you.